Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and you are watching TTV News with some latest events in the province. And now, coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first six months of 2023, all levels of party comedy and organizations in the province continue to pay attention to the development of new party members in association with strengthening the management of party members and improving the quality of the party members. In the first six months of the year, the province as a whole admitted for 390 party members, about 33.8% increase over the resolution of the 2023, with about 20 border community party committees admitting 44 party members about 37.6% increase over the resolution of 2023. To drastically implement the resolution to reduce the number of party members who have been removed from the party and asked to leave the party, in conjunction with the review, screening and resolutely removing party members who are no longer eligible to have the party as the Project No. 3, dated September the 19th of 2021 by the Provincial Party Executive Committee on reducing the number of party members being deleted and asked to leave the party in the term of 2020 to 2025. As a result, 78% of party members had their names deleted and applied for leave from the party. Promoting the socialization creating favorable conditions to support interest rates on loans for production and business for the party members in difficult circumstances to rise in life. As of June the 9th of 2023, the entire province mobilized the close contributed nearly 5.9 billion Vietnam dong to support party members. The inspection, supervision, and discipline of the party has been virtually renewed in terms of contents and methods, meeting the requirements. And in six months, the province had 78 party members disciplined, an increase of 19 cases over the same period. In the morning of June 24, Colonel Phan Minh Trieu, political commissioner of the Bronzo Border Guard Command, came to the broader support program organized by the Bam Tran Trao Border Guard Station and the People Committee of Binh Yek Khamun. 100 guests were distributed to disadvantaged Khamun households, rice, noodles, food, and necessity for family activity are among the gifts. Children supported by the broader adoption program and rising children to school receive gifts to encourage their economic spirit during the reverse school year. In addition, the students were given blank bullets and some comic books donated from the trial program organized by Tainan Radio Television Streetly. The total value of the program is about 100 million Vietnam dong, supported by volunteer groups in Hoa Thanh Thao, Yim Chau District, and Tân City, in order to help people in border areas reduce some of their difficulties in life. At the forum to connect businesses to invest in developing high-tech rural ecosystems in 2003, the People's Committee of the Nen Province, the Dutch the Hulls Group and the Hung Nhung Tenen Group signed a memorandum of understanding cooperation of serving, researching and investing in a number of high-tech agricultural projects in the Nen Province. Implementing the signed memorandum of understanding on July the 3rd of 2023, the host Netherlands Group and Hung Young Group will hold the groundbreaking survey of THN tenant high tech application farm projects in Tang Hoi Commune of Tang Chau District. This is one of the high tech agriculture projects that the host Netherlands Group and Hung Young Groups are planning to build in tenant province with a total investment of approximately 2,500 billion Vietnam dong. And by 2030, the DHN joint venture between the Dehus Netherlands Group and Hung Young Groups hope to have 58 million beaters and about 25 million broiler chickens in Tainan Province, as well as 10,000 breeding pigs in the Tainan area and 20,000 commercial shows in the South East, in the Central and the Central Highlands region. Also. Voters of the Young Commune, Tommy District, have recently proposed a plan to ensure the safety of the road connecting the banks of the West Colonel. The session passing through the Young Commune, Tommy District, the authority has also just reported to the Standing Committee of the Bronzo People Council on this content. 
Voters of Taipam Commune Southern Main District have recently proposed a plan to ensure the safety of the road connecting the banks of the West Canal, the section passing through Taipam Commune Southern Main District. The authorities have also just reported to the Standing Committee of the Provincial People's Council on this content. Voters of Taipam Commune reflected that the roads connecting the West Canal, including the main press area, has many deteriorated sections. Pole holes and elephant holes appear, making it difficult to travel and transport agricultural products. On April 14, 2003, the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development issued an official letter on coordination in handling and definitely settling the opinions and recommendations of voters. According to authorities, the Canal Bank is designed to serve the management and operation of irrigation works and combined traffic in a lot of less than six tons. However, Due to the number of tractors and trucks, motorbikes carrying materials and agricultural products with the heavier tonnage than the allowable lot, frequent traffic has caused damage to the road surface. And therefore, the South and Irrigation Exploitation Company will check and report to Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development to arrange funding for repair in 2023. At the same time, the company also proposed the local authorities to pay attention to focusing, strengthening the propaganda, and strictly handling the cases of vehicles with the last laws traveling on the canal bank. Dunlop Common Water recently reports the ranches at all levels of land to arrest the flooding situation in four hamlets in the Common. The Department of Agriculture and Rural Development has been notified of the petition resolution. Tung Ting, Tung Hoa, Tung Dom 1, and Tung Dom 2 hamlets of Dunlop Common the District are frequently locally flooded during the rainy season. This situation affects approximately 600 households on 200 hectares of agricultural land, with 51 of them severely flooded. Because of the lack of a rainnet system, the water can be looted for more than 20 days at a time. The Tunnel of Common Rainnet Kernel Project Investment Policy was approved by the Bronze People Committee in 2020, with a total investment of 36 billion Vietnam dong from the Bronze Budget. However, due to a variety of factors, including some households that did not agree on the implementation plan, the project was implemented slowly. According to the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, on April 3rd, the Construction Investment Project Management Board of the Province Agriculture and Rural Development Sector submitted it to the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development for consideration and adjustment before submitting it to the Bronze People Committee, the Lap Kamun Rainness Kernel Project Investment Program. As a result, it is proposed to move the project completion date to 2024-2026. The Department of Agriculture and Rural Development stated that it will monitor the situation and urge the investor to complete the project as soon as possible. The Youth Federation and the Youth Union of Hoa Thanh Tao have cooperated with Tenant Radio Television Station and Hoa Binh Minh Tenant Company Limited to organize the Roadshow Program Cultural and Historical Journey in 2023. During the first leg of the journey, union members and the young people from each unit visited to the traditional craft village of making potato flour in Trung Tây, Ramun Hoa Thanh Tao, to learn some of the processes that make this familiar ingredients from making the tough drying the dove, cutting the case to packing it. In addition, the youth also visited the graves of Mr. Hun Gong Nghe Palace and Mr. Elephant's Palace Tomb and the National Historic Site of Long Than Palace in Long Than Nam Commune. On this occasion, the units also coordinated to organize the contest of Ring the Golden Bell to learn about the cultural knowledge, the local history, and a presentation contest about the role of the young people in preserving and promoting the cultural values and the history of the nation. The busy summer days have begun with a slew of useful activity. Some children have the opportunity to travel with their families, participate in summer activity, and continue to reveal and improve their knowledge during this time. Many children in Long Yu Kamun, Bun Kao District, are especially excited this summer because they will be able to attend a free English class directed by the Rectory of Long Yu Kamun, Nguyen Tân Đạc, whom they affectionately refer to as Mr. Đạc. 
After more than seven years of maintaining the classroom, the greatest desire of this young teacher wearing a used shirt is to show the seeds of a passion for learning English for the children in the rural areas to make them more favorable in the process of studying and international integration. And in this day in June, the Community Center for the Country Sports and Learning in Lam Chi Kumun Bengal District suddenly came bursting with the spelling sounds of more than 40 children participating in the English classes free on charge by Mr. Dart. Like many other classes, on the first day of class, the children sat down together, elected the class president, recorded a specific class schedule for the parents' convenience in transportation, and not only that, Mr. Dark also kindly advised the children when studying and playing in class to be very multiplicable and ensure the safety. Having settled into the place, the first class began, and with a review of the English alphabet. Yeah, go help the, um Yes, I learned more English letters and then need to be revealed so that next year we can understand faster. This summer we have three months of summer vacation without studying anything. So I'm afraid that I didn't know anything for the next school year. So Mr. Da opened this class and I really liked it. Today I joined Mr. Das English class. I feel very happy because here I met too many new friends and still learn to know more interesting things. And with a passion for English that yields to teach at English centers in Ho City, therefore when returning to work in the countryside, he realized the disadvantages of the peoples in the rural areas and when they did not have many conditions to interact with effective English learning methods like their peers, from love and affection, he decided to open this free English class. Since 2016 until now, I have done seven classes. Every summer I do, every summer usually for two classes of about 100 students and peoples, also depending on the year, and there are 60 or sometimes there are 80. But the first year I opened up to 100 peoples, and at that time, it seems like a lot of demand, just open and register a lot. And this summer, Mr. Da also decided to open two classes, one organized by the Bengal District Youth Union at the Community Center for Conscious Sports and Learning, and the second class is currently recruiting students and is almost full. In seven years of maintaining this class, he has gradually instilled the joy of learning English in many local peoples, and after that, it's for the children eagerness to learn and their delusions that gave him more motivation to maintain this class. And from this free class of Mr. Da, many people have become excellent students in English also. Mr. Da's free English class has now become a prestigious brand of the Long Chee Commune Union, and it is also a reliable rest for the people of Long Chee Commune to safely send their kids to every summer for learning English. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past time, there is still the situation of motorbike and motorbike being stolen at public entertainment sports, tourist attraction, taking advantage of motorbike owners' love force, leaving motorbikes in unattended places considered. The object of property tariff committed criminal acts, recorded by reporter Nguyen Yu. Then in his numerous tourist attraction and public entertainment option. The Ninkada Holiday is one of the most popular story attractions for visitors from all over the world who visit the Nin. People frequently set up motorbike and motorbike along the stands of the Holiday to go around and see the sceneries. People leave their motorbike on the roadside because there are no parking spaces in this area. And many motorbike people still leave their keys in the motorbike lock. This lack of vigilance is a delicious pay for a tip because of its subjectivity. My motorbike is left in the yard room of the stand. Serious motorbike, loads and belongings are left on the motorbike. The hamlet is also on the motorbike. The motorbike key is still on. I took the baby to see the monkey around, did the not it, let the tip come and take the motorbike and run. We can't keep the motorbike on weekdays. Someday we can keep the motorbike for free. So if tourists come, keep your motorbike by yourself and then lock it. 
put the key out. Don't leave the key in the motorbike because here there are thieves who can steal it right away. In case it where the motorbike is locked, because you motorbike carelessly do not take out the key out, it's run around looking for bay. Whoever leaves an opening. It will immediately snag it. Because people are subjected, naturalists and life vigilance or rotating property, spontaneous theft of subsect occur. Consequently, people do not react condition for subsect to commit us or theft. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTP News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.